Welcome to UTC AI Studio, AI powered, creativity fueled. Picture this, you're at your favorite coffee shop, you tap your card to pay for a latte and you walk away. Simple, right? An everyday moment. But what you don't see is that in that tiny instant, a secret war was just fought and won all on your behalf. Seriously think about it. We all do it dozens of times a week without even a second thought, but what is actually going on behind the scenes? Well, in that fraction of a second, an invisible high-stakes battle is taking place to protect your money. You know, every single second of every day, there's a silent digital war being fought for your money. It's a battle against financial fraud. And the front line has a powerful new soldier, artificial intelligence. So how exactly does this digital guardian work? Let's dive right into the new front line in the war for your wallet. To really get a sense of what's at stake, just look at this number, $485 billion. That's the estimated global cost of fraud in just one year. I mean, that's a number so big, it's hard to even wrap your head around it. It's more than the entire economy of many countries, an enormous amount of value disappearing straight into the hands of criminals. The damage doesn't stop there. There's this multiplier effect. For every single dollar that's lost to fraud, businesses actually end up losing about $3.60. But why? Because you've got chargeback fees, investigation costs, and of course, the huge damage done to a brand's reputation. And this is why the whole game has changed. We're not fighting amateur scammers in their basement anymore. A shocking 85% of fraud attempts are now powered by AI. They're using deep fakes for identity theft, creating synthetic ghost customers. I mean, businesses are now facing attackers who are just as high-tech as they are. The game is literally changing. All right, so let's recap. We've got this enormous multi-billion dollar problem on our hands, and the bad guys are using AI to make it even worse. This brings us right to the heart of the issue. The fraud problem is escalating way faster than our old defenses can possibly handle. We urgently need a whole new playbook. And this isn't just an abstract problem for big banks. Not at all. It's deeply personal. Just last year, an estimated 14% of people over the age of 15 were victims of personal fraud. Think about that. That's more than one in every 10 people dealing with everything from credit card fraud to full-blown identity theft. So, if the threat is getting smarter and faster, how in the world do we fight back? Well, the answer lies in a fundamental shift in strategy. It's a classic battle, really. The old rigid rules versus the new adaptive AI. For years, banks have been relying on these rule-based systems. If a transaction is over a certain amount, it gets flagged. But these rules are rigid. They are slow, reactive, and easily overwhelmed by the scale and creativity of modern fraud. It's like castle walls trying to stop a fighter jet. And when you put them side by side, the difference is just night and day. Where the old methods are reactive, sometimes taking hours or even days to catch something, AI is proactive analyzing things in real time. Traditional systems just get bogged down by the scale of it all. AI, on the other hand, can process millions of data points without breaking a sweat. And maybe most importantly for us, it slashes those super annoying false positives. You know, when your card gets declined at the grocery store for no good reason, old systems need a person to manually update them all the time. But AI, it learns and evolves all on its own. It is a complete paradigm shift. We know AI is better, a lot better. But how does it actually work? This is where it gets really, really cool. Let's break down the mechanics of how artificial intelligence is actually fighting back on the front lines. The engine driving this whole operation is machine learning. It's a type of AI that basically lets computer systems learn from huge amounts of data and get better over time, all without a human having to sit there and program in new rules every five minutes. It's what gives AI its incredible power to adapt. So what does this look like in practice? This AI shield basically works in three layers. First is the watcher, which looks for anomalies. Anything statistically unusual, like a large purchase at 3 a.m. from another continent. Then there's the forecaster, which uses your past behavior to predict the probability that a transaction is fraudulent. And finally, the detective, which connects the dots between events to uncover complex fraud rings. Behind these three layers is a continuous six-step learning cycle that's always running in real time. First, the AI is just drinking from a fire hose of data in real time. Your transactions, your location, the device you're on, you name it. It uses all this to build a unique behavioral profile of what's normal for you. Then every single new thing you do gets scored for risk against that profile. If something seems off, if it's out of character, the system jumps into action, 
flagging or blocking it instantly. But here's the magic trick. It then learns from that outcome whether it was right or wrong and uses it to get even smarter for the next time. So, what kind of weird stuff is this digital detective actually looking for? It's scanning for all these little anomalies that a human analyst might totally miss. It looks like anomalies a human might miss, like a login from a brand new device it's never seen before, an unusually large withdrawal, or a rapid series of small transactions sent to new accounts, which is a classic sign of money laundering. It's looking for anything that just doesn't fit. And the AI actually fights this battle on two different fronts with what we call supervised learning. In supervised learning, AI is trained on thousands of known fraud examples, like a detective studying old case files to recognize familiar criminal patterns. But then you have unsupervised learning. This is where it gets wild. Here AI acts more like a scout in totally uncharted territory. It just sifts through all the data without any preconceived ideas, looking for strange patterns and odd connections. This is how it spots entirely new fraud tactics. The crimes of tomorrow before we humans even know to look for them. Behavioral biometrics. So, how does it do this so accurately? Well, the AI builds this dynamic profile of your behavior by asking hundreds of questions behind the scenes. Like, is this a store you go to often? Does this purchase fit your usual spending habits? Are you using your normal phone? It learns what's normal for you so it can instantly spot what isn't. And it does all this without ever seeing your name or what you actually bought. A fraudster might be able to steal your password, but they can't perfectly copy how you behave. The AI creates this digital fingerprint of you based on subtle habits like how fast you type, the way you swipe your phone screen, or how you move your mouse. It's a totally invisible layer of security that can spot an imposter even if they have your correct login details. It's amazing. Alright, AI is clearly a powerful weapon in this fight. But this is a big butt and it is not a silver bullet. It comes with its own set of pretty significant challenges that banks and regulators are really grappling with right now. Let's be real for a second. Is AI a perfect flawless solution? Of course not. And if we're going to use this technology responsibly, we must understand its limitations just as well as understand its strengths. There are four major hurdles to clear up here. First up is data bias. It's that classic garbage in, garbage out problem. If the AI learns from historical data that's flawed or biased, its decisions will be flawed and biased too. Second errors. An AI can still misinterpret data or even hallucinate, which is when it confidently just makes something up. And that leads to those frustrating false positives. Third, compliance. Trying to navigate the incredibly complex web of data privacy and banking regulations is a monumental challenge. And finally, complexity and cost. These aren't just plug and play solutions. Building and maintaining them requires a huge investment in both money and expert talent. And all of these challenges really bring us to our final and maybe most important section, the future of trust. Because at the end of the day, this isn't just about cool technology. It's about our confidence in the financial systems that are supposed to protect our money. And it's so important to remember this. The goal here isn't some sci-fi movie where robots take over. Not at all. It's to empower human fraud analysts. The AI is the perfect partner that can sift through millions of transactions in a second freeing up the human experts to focus on the really complex cases that require intuition, judgment, and a human touch. Let's go back to that coffee purchase we talked about at the beginning and actually see how a global giant like Visa uses this exact AI shield to protect you every single day. The moment you tap, your transaction data flies through Visa's global network, called VisaNet in real time. An advanced AI model analyzes over 500 different risk factors based on that analysis. It generates a risk score from 1 to 99, sends it straight to your bank, and then your bank makes the final call, approve or decline. The entire thing takes less time than it takes you to blink. It's incredible. Companies like PayPal have seen a 10% improvement in their real-time fraud detection. American Express boosted theirs by 6%. And get this, ComBank's AI scam checker has led to an incredible 76% reduction in losses from certain scams. This technology is making a real, tangible difference right now. So, what do we, the customers, think about all this? Well, the data shows this really fascinating push and pull. A huge majority of us, 77%, absolutely want our banks to be using AI to detect fraud, 
but at the same time 84% say we would switch banks in a heartbeat if our data was mishandled. The message to the banks is crystal clear. Protect us with the best tech you've got, but you better not mess up when it comes to our privacy. It's a real high wire act between security and trust. And all of this leads us to the ultimate question we have to wrestle with. We're building this incredibly powerful digital detective to catch the bad guys. But as it gets smarter and more powerful, the real challenge will be making sure it remains fair, unbiased and trustworthy for all the honest people it's designed to protect. How exactly do you program a machine for wisdom? If AI is protecting our payments this effectively, where else is it working silently in the background of our lives? What other invisible shields are out there keeping us safe in ways we don't even realize? Thanks for watching UTC AI Studio. AI powered, creativity fueled. I'll see you in the next video where we explore more AI integrations in our daily lives. Till then, as always, keep learning, keep building, and keep creating with AI.